What a day. <laughs> Everything has just been unpleasant today. I like how the, there was a door opening sound and the window rolled York. down. <laughs> ah, he's at his house, right? How did you know that? Timing, Emily. Good timing. Uh, whatever. Just get in. George is heading over there already. Let's get a move on. Zach, things are finally starting to come together. Are they now? Come on, poncho. <laughs> the Jeep has a poncho. Where is the button? There it is. <laughs> you never remember any of the... It's your, your blinker's on! <laughs> it is. There, now it's on the other side. <laughs> but the thing is, it's X. I keep on thinking it's one of the... Uh, it's on one of the D-pad. Oh... Okay. Because, like, my wipers are on the D-pad, the blinkers are on the D-pad. Blinkers, like... Okay. Fucking RP blinkers. Jesus. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of floating right now. <laughs> it's just too rainy, you're just floating down the road. I, I couldn't really turn, uh, turn right there. <sighs> there we go. So we're going to go see Thomas's house. Well, I, I actually think it's more of an apartment. Oh, it better be a dump. And so we're reminded of why exactly I got that radio. Yeah. Ugh. God. I mean, I know it took, like, fucking forever, but... Wait, did it save... Hmm? Did we spend more time getting that than we did? Uh, than we would have saved? No. I don't know why that was so fucking hard for me to say. I don't know, we spent a long time getting that thing. Well, we were also doing a lot of side stuff at the same time. Yeah, that's true. All we had to do was go talk to George. you think that would be easy, but... All we had to do was... Let's see. Would have been better to go the other way? We had to talk to George, we had to find a flower, and then we had to talk to George again. Yeah, that's three tasks, and it took us, like, I don't know, a million hours. The fuck does he even live? Up here. Okay, so... Where George is waiting. So, so I think more or less a straight line. Yep. Yeah, okay, cool. Excuse me, God! <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Police lane coming through. Sorry, I didn't see you coming up there. <laughs> he just jumped out in front of me. It moved fast for lumber. I'm surprised there hasn't been a conversation prompt during this. He's too busy. He doesn't want to think about fucking punk music at a time like this. That's not very punk of you. This punk over here. He acting like he knows what punk music is. Meanwhile, he goes and joins the fucking establishment. Burn it all down, man. Tell him Zach did it. <laughs> Extra for long distance. Oh, I'm aware. <laughs> Just make sure it's not completely wasting your time. <laughs> they know how long and shitty the driving sequences are, so they pay you to do them. I'm going to get rested XP from this. <laughs> Oh yeah, going out of blazing 80 miles per hour. Oh, there's a the fence there. <laughs> and it just, it just, ah. full stop on that chain link fence. The most durable of materials known to man. <laughs> like, you totally can't just kick up a chain link fence and it won't break in. Yeah, no one's getting through this. This isn't even hardly an apartment, it looks more like a motel. You're not even not even gonna stand like underneath the awning. You received an anonymous call informing us that Thomas returned home. I sent Emily to get you right away. 
no idea who made the call. No. That's why I came on ahead, to see if the information was correct. A light did come on, but only for a second. I saw a tall male silhouette in the window. It was Thomas. Okay. I'm going in. You two wait here. Turns out that they have to sacrifice virgins. And Thomas is the last sacrifice. <laughs> Look out, Zach. They're coming for you. <laughs> it's the same in the countryside after all. The climax of an investigation is always in the moment. He's got his he's got his game face on. How oh. many zombies are you gonna shoot in this like two oh, room apartment? Going through the Thomas dungeon now. <laughs> This is like finding out in Persona that you have to go through the little girl dungeon. Mm. Wait! Wait! Mm. Can I rephrase that? Because <laughs> it's not it's not wrong, but it sure does sound that way. <laughs> Oops. Why has he got the number for his apartment on the inside? So he doesn't forget? Turn needle. You better be Yaki Sacks. Yeah, I'm profiling Thomas. I'm judging him based on his music taste. Thomas, I found a mixtape in your apartment. Maybe I can give you some pointers sometime. <laughs> that better not be Thomas in a dress. Maybe it's not Thomas in a dress. Too much noise. There's still yeah, you turned the music on. The puzzle. And it's a record player. Thomas's biscuit. Oh, you get the Thomas's Biscuit trading card. Yeah, it's, I it's forgot been, about those things. It's been a minute since we got one of those. Yeah. This is cherry pie. It's a cool drink of water. It's frozen rock solid now. <laughs> he must be a serial killer. Wait, whose apartment is this? I believe it's... Still Thomas's? No, I don't think so. I was going to say, why has this guy got two kitchens? Uh -huh. But then why would there be a connection into the other apartment? Oh, maybe it's his sister. Uh, Carol. <sighs> what? You know, the owner of the bar. That's Thomas's sister. What? I didn't know that! That's why he works there sometimes to help her out. I didn't know that either! He mentioned it earlier. Oh, man. This is probably back when I wasn't paying attention. Probably. Huh? We got a lollipop. Why does it have the glow in the reflection? <laughs> that means it's actually there. It's diegetic. <laughs> it's a good thing that Thomas left all this glowing evidence all over the place. Okay. You know how you can get like a little beeper for your keychain in case you end up losing your keys? Yeah. I want I want something that gives it the item pickup glow instead. <laughs> That'd be impossible to miss from then on. 
That sounds awesome. Come on, where's the augmented reality app for that? He's posing the way Kaysen was earlier. Okay, so how many people is Thomas? Like three? Well, Zach, he has me beat. <laughs> Sniper, get down, Zach. Yeah. So there's more to it. Kind of like the bonus footage on a DVD. Okay. It's worth watching. Don't you agree, Zach? George, what was that noise? <gasps> Damn it. We need to seal off all routes out of town. No need for that, George. Huh? If he was going to leave town, he would have done so by now. Which means he's still got some unfinished business. <laughs> What would... <laughs> Look so at the, I was about to say this face. <laughs> he keeps making some good faces today. He was running like Mega Man. <laughs> no, you know what? If we went a little bit further, he would have jumped and shoot. <laughs> he would have jumped and shoot, landed into his car. Everything would have stopped for a second as he got into it. Thomas <laughs> isn't going. You go. You you finally meet Thomas and his health bar just like. This elf is represented by pictures of squirrels. <laughs> you get him down to the last squirrel and he eats a biscuit and it fills completely back up. Yeah, yeah, it's it, he, Squirrel Man. Da -dun -da -dun -dun. Uh, cruel Da -dun -dun -dun. device. Alright, where are we going? Um, Galaxy of Terror. Oh. I can't do that. George is busy! And who, who who else is gonna drive you around? Thomas? He's too busy nope. being I mean three people. I mean it wouldn't be that big of a deal for him. I mean he's gonna end up being at the same place that he needs to be anyway. Oh yeah! <laughs> Uh, I think the uh, reason uh, it's not coming is because uh, enemies are out. No, that makes sense. Dude, move. You're going to get hit. You're playing around in the middle of the road. You're a grown-ass man. You should know better by now. So, Sam. About Emily. My first impression of the matter on that bridge is slightly different from what I think about now. God. Don't you think she's pretty? Oh. Come on, I was nowhere near it. <laughs> Move! Because oh, no. Altura pulls out his badge since they haven't been properly introduced yet. <laughs> I've known you for a while, but you don't know me. She's right in the intersection! There she goes. Be pooping away. <sighs> She's got about as many frames as she would if she was on the N64. I mean, I can't remember specifically where I heard about it, but I'm pretty sure that this game was delayed into oblivion. Yeah. To the point where I think it was supposed to be an early era PS2 game. 
because it, it has certain PS1 remnants. Like that. What? What the fuck? I, I think they were birds. Let's say they were birds. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, I think this game being delayed into oblivion would explain how exactly it turned out the way it did, both in the sense of why there's almost no polish on it, and also why higher ups will probably be like, "Fuck it, just just do whatever you want with it, just get it out." Yeah, just put it out. Just, we yeah. don't care anymore. Just get it out. All right, we've now run into it, run in a circle. Anna, please. Anna, Anna you airhead. <laughs> Anna. You, you, I better not be going down that curb road again. Anna, please take me to a destination. Uh, okay, you have time to kill. I do not. <laughs> uh, I think we got plenty of time to kill. I think they're trying to attack me. Probably. You'll just have to shoot on it. Oh, I guess we had to spin around because she missed a churn. <laughs> she just keeps going. Thanks, Anna. This is where we were going. Really surprised that wasn't a QT. Yeah, I'm really glad because my hand was off the controller there. Yeah. So you're gonna beat him to death with a wrench, right? If given the opportunity. <laughs> Dude, he is still like three feet away from you. I, I almost became a goddess of the forest myself. Although I think the look might suit me. What do you think, Zack? Hmm. We haven't been really given a red suit yet, have we? Or yeah, well, one of them in the jets had a red jacket. Yeah, they didn't have it. Um, I think it was white pants, right? Terror. I Look like a fucking candy cane. We'll probably be given a chance to change clothes somewhere in here, so getting a change to that. Yeah. Okay, we actually don't want these guys to get on fire because they start moving ridiculously fast. If they do get caught on fire, and they'll just immediately die from it. Huh. You smoke too much. And at the same time, too little. <laughs> He's really bad at it. He just smokes because that's what all the other FBI agents are doing. I would believe that, yeah. Like, he's just constantly finding the urge to not just have a coffee fit out there every single one. <laughs> Still 
missing a vital piece of the puzzle. God, it's the same song I heard five minutes ago. Hmm. Good thing Thomas left behind his fucking ham. He is known for his cooking. Yep. Speaking of the soundtrack, up. Uh, it's very small, but has a good number of really good songs. Like yeah. the whole listening thing, but I also like the actual theme, which was playing when we were chasing honor around. Yeah. Uh, I wish that the dungeons had more variety in music because uh, being able to listen to something other than would be nice. <laughs> it's called ambiance. He's gonna chop all the ladies in half. Well, ambiance and out of here. God damn it. No, oh, please, I've been working too much. My shoulder can't take this punishment. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna go ahead and stop to observe. Good thing that the raincoat boy is. Zach, what do you think this barrel? <laughs> it really is what happened. <laughs> Looks like I can move it. It's up to you, Zach. Okay, you can stop pushing it now. Thank you. Here comes that boy. God. Oh god. Good thing he's dumb. Oh god. Here he comes. Like, like, that would honestly be a good moment if, if the context of it wasn't so stupid. <laughs> Like, I'm just trying to imagine how frustrated the Ringo Killer must be right this second. <laughs> like, God damn it, the second I throw it! You shut the door! <laughs> you just saw him go in there. to very carefully not push the wrong button. <laughs> Uh-oh! He Here he is! Dude! They were trying to go for a kind of clock tower theme here. It just takes way too long for a single scene. Oh. Look at how far from his face the glowing eyes are. <laughs> They're like little Christmas lights poking out that far. Little LEDs. He's got some big bug eyes though, you're right. It's just a really good cosplay, he's just super into character right now. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. Where are you? Should I go out to answer the question? Oh my god. I know he has to go over there now. Uh, 
now he's going to get angry and then throw his axe somewhere and then leave. But it's okay, he's still got it. He has extras. Like, he has a weapon wheel that he scrolls through too, but they're all axes. He just clipped right through that wall, dude. Like he do sometimes. <laughs> 